Welcome, Minneapolis junior, senior, high school sports fans to the Bennington Sports Complex here on May 12th, 2015. We're here for the last set of regular season games in this 2015 season in the intra-county rivalry between, rivalry between the Minneapolis Lions and the host Bennington Bulldogs here today. Dale Leach for Eagle Communications Channel 20 and SalinaPost.com. It all boils down to today finishing off the season records and uh, seedings for the regional tournament will be known tomorrow afternoon. Minneapolis will be playing in the Lions Class 3A tournament. Furthest teams away in that regional are Lakin and Scott City. We hope our record is good enough that we don't have to go visit either of them. Be nice to have a, a home game, but uh, right now we are at eight and ten, so we're probably uh, on the cusp of going, being away for the first game. Bennington Bulldogs enter with a six and ten record, while the Lions are eight and ten. Bulldogs are starting four freshmen, from what I understand. They're coached, Bulldogs are coached by Todd Burrow, Jason File, and Doug Betts. The Lions coached by Tyler Conradi, Luke Hosler, and John Hahn. Starting lineups. First in the batting order is number 11 for Minneapolis, Dave Johns, playing shortstop. Second in the batting order, number 34, John Kelly at third. Third in the batting order, number 14, Brett Thompson, the catcher. Cleanup hitter, number fourth in the batting order, number 33, Jacob Fleming, right field. Fifth in the batting order, number 13, Eric Yoxel, pitching. Sixth in the batting order, number 20, Logan Robbins, first base. Seventh in the batting order, number 12, Jace McKinney as designated hitter. Eighth in the batting order, number nine, Jacob Johns at second. And ninth in the batting order is number 15, Josh Macy at center field. At left field is Jeff Austin, number 10. For the Bulldogs of Bennington, their batting order goes as this. Number one is, first in the batting order is number three, Jacob Stanley, right field. Second in the batting order is number 10, Dustin Stanley, the pitcher. Third in the batter order is number 11, Jacob Depperschmidt, center field. Fourth in the batting order is number 55, Easton Rent as the catcher. Fifth in the batting order is number nine, Devin File. Third base. Six of the in the batting order is number five, Dylan Fry at left field. Seventh in the batting order is number four, Brandon Nisbet at third base. Eighth in the batting order is number 99, Markel Hastings at second base. Ninth in the batting order is number 19, Trey Wood designated hitter at first base is number 35 Christian Simpson getting ready to play ball here final warm-ups being taken by the Bulldog pitcher Dustin Stanley again the Bulldogs are starting four freshmen on their squad from what I understand Minneapolis starting pitcher is Eric Yoxel. He's pitched in nine games. They started two, so this will be his third start. He has a one on one record. Has an ERA of 4.846. Has struck out 20. 
We'll take a break and be right back. Up is David Johns. Takes a swing and hits it. It's out in the gap into left field. So David Johns on base. Ball gets away. He stays at first. John Kelly up next. He is third base. Number two in the batting order, and I've just been informed that uh, Jake Fleming will not be playing. He's hurt a quad in warm-ups. Don't have the lineup changes yet. Jake takes a swing and fouls it over the right side into the adjoining field. So 0-1 is the count against Kelly. Stanley takes the sign. Here's the wind-up. Kickoff attempt at first is no good. Here's the pitch. Steals or steals on at second and is safe. Count is on two against Kelly. The 0-2 pitch, tied inside. Ball one. One and two is the count. The one two pitch, outside and low. Evens the count at two and two. Thank you. The 2-2 pitch, swung on hit, it's popped up, foul over the right side here. The pitch, high, makes the count full, three and two. The 3 2 pitch, high. Kelly takes his base on a walk. So one hit surrendered by Stanley and one walk. In the first two batters, no outs. Two men on, one in scoring position. Up is Brick Thompson, number 14, the catcher. Eric Yoxel on deck. A steal attempt is overthrown, so that's an error, and that's going to score Johns. And Kelly stops at third. He thought about coming in. So a run scored by David Johns makes the score one to zero. Minneapolis. Count is 0-1 against Thompson. He takes a swing at the second pitch. Strike two. The 0-2 pitch high and outside. Ball one. So the one-two pitch coming. And he 
Gets that deep right and is missed. Fair ball. It's going to score Kelly. And Thompson goes in to second base with a stand-up double. So a hit and an RBI for Thompson. Eric Yoxel up pitching. Logan Robbins on deck. Hits the ball is out deep in the right center or the center field. They make the grab. Thompson holds it second. So fly out for Yoxel. Up Logan Robbins. Outside. So one down here. In the uh, top of the first, Minneapolis leading 2-0. Robbins takes a swing, misses. One and one the count. It's a one one pitch by Stanley. Is hit by Robbins deep into left field and goes foul. So the count goes to one and two. Ball two, two and two is the count. The two two pitch. Swung on a miss. So strike out for Robbins. Second out of the inning. With run run one runner in scoring position second. In Thompson. Up is number twelve, Jason McKinney, designated hitter. Takes a swing and fouls it down the left field line. Trent Brubaker is pressed into service here in right field in replacement of Jake Fleming, who injured himself in the warmups. Ball one, so one and one's the count. One one pitch outside and low. Two and one the count. The two one pitch high, ball three. Count is three and one. Pitch, he swings that, takes it, hits it, it's out deep left, bounces off the outfield fence. That's going to score Thompson, and McKinney's in safe at second. So a hit and an RBI for McKinney. His first designated hitter that I've seen this season, anyway. Multi-base hit. Makes the score three to zero here with two outs in the top of the first. Up is Trenton Brubaker, right field. Ball one. Strike on the outside corner. One and one the count. Stanley's 
keeping an eye on McKinney there on second. It's a 1 1 pitch, swung on a miss by Brubaker. So the count is 1 and 2. Pickoff attempt, McKinney, not in time. He's taking a sizable lead. It's a one two pitch, swung on him, hit. That's going to go foul. The third baseman gets underneath it, makes the catch to end the inning. Line strand one, but score three. In the top of the first, on three hits, two RBIs, one walk. We'll be back for the bottom half of the first with the Bennington Bulldogs at bat, bat after this word from our sponsors. Dale Leach, Eagle Communications, Channel 20, and SalinaPost.com. support student activities and the teachers at MJFHA. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. The American Family Insurance Company is proud of Arsenal for all their insurance coverage under one roof. At Arsenal, we see everything up close while we're supporting the Lions. Stop into Dream Drive today and experience shopping with the promise of neighborly service from people you know and trust. Dream Drive PA, your hometown grocery store, supporting your hometown Lions. Supporting the Lions all the way. Robertson Motors. Welcome back to the Bennington Sports Complex for this first game of the doubleheader versus Minneapolis versus Bennington. Intra county rivalry here. Lines up three to zero here as we go to the bottom of the first. Eric Yoxel taking some final final warm-ups as the starting pitcher for the Lions. Infield, we have catcher Brick Thompson. At first, Logan Robbins. Second is Jacob Johns. Short is David Johns. Third is uh, John Kelly. Left field is Jay so er, Austin. Center is Josh Macy. And right is Trenton Brubaker. Up to bat four. Bennington is number three, Jacob Stanley, right fielder. The pitch, outside and high, strike one. The 1-0 pitch to Stanley, strike one, down the center of the plate. The 1-1 pitch, swung on and fouled up in play. Kelly can't quite get to it. So the count goes to 1-2 to against Stanley. Yoxel takes the sign and the windup. One two pitch inside and ball two. Evens the count at two and two. The two two pitch swung on and fouled. Foul tip by Stanley. Keeps the count at two and two. 
On deck is Dustin Stanley, number 10, the pitcher. The 2-2 pitch, foul over to the right, non-playable. So the count remains 2-2 two two with no outs. First batter up for Bennington. The 2-2 two two pitch, swung on and fouled again down the right side. Jacob Stanley's battling away here against Eric Yoxel. The 2-2 two -two pitch again, low. Makes the count full at three and two. Three, two pitch, swung on, fouled, out of play, deep down the right side. The count remains three and two. Two pitch, swung on, and right to Logan Robbins at first base. Who makes the catch? Takes three steps to first and puts him out. So up is pitcher Dustin Stanley on deck. Jude Depperschmidt, center fielder. One down for the Bulldogs. Pitch inside and high, ball one. One oh pitch. Ball two. The two oh pitch, high. Ball three. The 3-0 pitch. Here's a strike. Kind of delayed reaction by the ump. Thought for a second he was going to call the ball. 3-1 the count now. Fouls that up. Makes the count 3-2. and two. Even, the score, even though the scoreboard doesn't show that. Ump agrees. The 3-2 pitch. Swung on, popped up back here over the fence. Count remains three and two. And a ball takes his base on the walk. So up is Jude Depperschmidt. Outside. One man on with one out. Takes a swing and it gets out in front of Austin. Jeff picks it up and the cutoff man, two men on. Okay, up is number 55, Easton Rent, catcher. For Bennington, with two men on, one out. Pitch, swung on a foul down the right side.
Okay, rinse and slips back into the batter's box. The 0 1 pitch coming. Takes a swing. It gets to Johns at second. He bobbles it. That's going to score. Number 10, Dustin Stanley. So run, run with a hit and an RBI. Runners at the corners. In comes Skyler Pifo as designated runner. Pifo could be a courtesy runner since Rent is the catcher. Takes the swing, it's back up over the fence. Up is number nine, Devin File. Shortstop. The 0 1 pitch is coming. High and outside, one and one. One one pitch, swung on, hit. Out to center field, Macy's getting under it. It's over him, up against the fence. That's gonna score Jude Depperschmidt. So run batted in for Devin File and a hit. Makes the score three to two with one out here in the bottom of the first. Up is Dylan Fry, left fielder. The pitch, outside ball one. Inside, low, ball two. Pitch, high and inside. Actually, the count was one and one. It's now two and one. Two men on at first and second. One out. The two one pitch, swung on and missed by Fry. Evens the count at two and two with one out. The 2-2 two -two pitch, swung on, down to Robbins at first. Double play. A 3-6 double play there. To end the inning. So a ground out on Fry and a base running out on file. After three hits, the Bulldogs score two to make it three to two in favor of Minneapolis after one inning. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsors. Eagle Communications, home of ECTV, High Speed Internet, 910KINA, and 99KG Country, is a proud sponsor of tonight's hometown coverage of Lions Sports. Listen to the Lions Sports on SalinaPost.com. Ottawa County Bank of Minneapolis offers hometown bank you a commitment experience and quality service. Proud sponsors of area school activities. Tonight's game brought to you by City Pharmacy of Minneapolis. Now delivering to our neighboring communities. Call us to find out what we Junior High School Lion Badger. 
Okay, welcome back to second inning action. The Lions up three to two. Jacob Johns up to bat. Second baseman. Pitch swung on foul over to the left side. The old one pitch outside and low. Count is even a one and one. The pitch. Strike two. One and two. Jacob's batting one five eight on the season. One two pitch way outside. Evens count at two and two. They have non base percentage of point three seven three. pitch swung on and hit it's out in the left field fair that's going to give him a double left fielder tracks it down gets it to the cutoff man multi base hit double double for Jacob Johns up is last batter in the order Josh Macy the center fielder Josh is batting .308 and on base percentage of .462 on the season. The pitch, swung on and missed. So the old one pitch, sure. Actually, he pulls up for a pickoff attempt at second, first. Not in time. On deck, John Kelly. Excuse me, David Johns. Who had a hit and a run scored in the first inning. Ball one makes the count one and one. The one one pitch outside ball two. Two and one. The two one pitch. Strike. Evens the count at two and two. One runner in scoring position of Johns and no out. The 2-2 two -two pitch, high, up and takes a swing. That's going to fall. Foul drop by the left fielder. So Josh stays alive. Count at 2-2. Two and two. No outs. Minneapolis leading 3-2. One runner on at second. Jacob Johns. Takes a swing and he's out. First strikeout for Dustin Stanley. Actually, that's the third. Let's see if we can get him marked down in the appropriate places. Up. David Johns. Strike one. Makes it the one and one count. The 
one one pitch outside Oop. strike is called one and two the one two pitch he hits that is going to be in the gap between short and second advance advance Jacob Johns to third and David Johns at first John Kelly up with the second hit for David today John Kelly got on base with a walk last time ended up scoring a run his batting average was point two six eight on base percentage of point three one seven So runners at the corner, the corners for the Lions with one out. Pickoff attempt at third, late. The pitch swung on, hacked at, foul. Owen one's the count. one pitch outside ball one one and one the count the one one pitch swung on and out in the center field and it gets over the fielder Going to be a stand-up double for John Kelly as he drives in the Johns brothers. So a triple for John Kelly. First hit of the day. Two RBIs with one out. So up is Brick Thompson, who had a hit in an RBI. First inning on a double. John Kelly in scoring position on third base. One out. He hits that. Similar location, but the right fielder gets under it, makes the grab. And that's going to score Kelly. So second RBI for Thompson. With that fly out. Makes it the second consecutive inning of three runs for the Lions. And they, they lead now. 6-2, Eric Yoxel up to bat. Eric had a fly out the first inning. So two down. On deck, Logan Robinson. The pitch. He gets that in the gap between third and short. Eric will stop at first. Logan Robbins, or the beef as they call him, is up. Logan had a strikeout the first time around. Two down here. Burroughs comes out and is going to relieve Dustin Stanley of his pitching duties. So we'll have a new pitcher. Pitch will be number nine, Devin File. With that, we'll take a break and be right back after this word from our sponsors. support student activities and the teachers of MJFHS. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. The American Family Insurance Agent in Mount Washington for all life insurance coverage under one roof. Mount Washington, Cincy, and Indianapolis proudly supporting the Lions. 
Okay, welcome back to the bottom of the second. I noticed as we were going to break here that I had not started the recording after that pitching change. Uh, so I'll describe to those that if you're watching this game uh, on TV or the internet, either way, that uh, we're Logan Robbins with a pop-up and just the pop-up was caught by the second baseman in the inning. The Lions leading six to two. Getting ready for the bottom of the second here. Up is for the Bulldogs is number four, Brandon Nisbet, on their second time through the batting order. First time through the batting order, excuse me. Nisbet is the seventh hitter in the order. Plays third base. Again, the Bulldogs starting four freshmen today. Yoxley's pitch. Outside, ball one. Strike two, that was a strike. So now the count is 0 2 with that foul. The 0 2 pitch, high, inside, and he hit him. So that's a walk. Nisbet on base with a walk. Second walk surrendered by Yoxel. Up is number 99, Martel Hastings. Second baseman. Pitch, steal the arm. That had a steal attempt. They're going to throw him out of first in Nowhersville. But Nisbet stays at first. Martel Hastings, number 99. Second baseman at bat. The pitch. He bunts it to the left. Kelly picks it up. Throws him out of first. So sacrifice hit or ground out by Hastings. Puts Trey Wood, the designated hitter, up at the bat, number 15. On runners in second. At second in scoring position, Brandon Nisbet. The pitch. High ball one. The 1 0 pitch. Ball two. The two -oh pitch swung on hit foul down the right side. pitch swung on a missed strike one two and one yogs was two one pitch high and inside nope There's two strikes on the board over there counts full three and two Get lost pretty easy today. The 3 2 pitch swung on, popped up. Johns gets underneath it. Jacob makes the grab. Force out at second is throws just a tad late. 
Trey Woods with the uh, fly out. Puts two down with one on here. Second time through the batting order for the Bulldogs coming up. Jacob Stanley, right field. Last time up, Jacob had a ground out. Pitch low and inside. Ball one. One zero pitch, swung on, hit. Got to right field. They get under, can't make the grab. That's going to score number four, Brandon Brandon Nisbet, who got on with a walk. So a hit for Stanley. Fourth hit surrendered by. Yoxel. Up is Dustin Stanley, who was the starting pitcher. Dustin had a was on base with a walk in the first inning. Two outs here. One runner and on for the Bulldogs. Two knows the count. Ball. Oh, called strike there. Two and one. The two one pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike two. Two two pitch high. Makes the count full at three and two. The three two pitch. Foul deep down the right side. Count remains three and two with two outs. Jacob Stanley on first for the Bulldogs. The three two pitch. Foul. Swing and a miss. Excuse me. Thought I heard a tip. But third strikeout for Eric Yoxel. First strikeout for Eric Yoxel. Excuse me. And after two innings, the score is Minneapolis six, Bennington three. We'll be back after this word from our sponsors, Dale H. Region Communications, Channel 20, and SaladaPost.com. All right, welcome back to the top of the third. The Lions leading the Bulldogs, six to three. Up for the Lions will be designated hitter Jace McKinney, number 12. Jace had a 
hit in an RBI in the first inning and scored a run on a double. He did not have a batting average prior to today, so he's starting off very well. The pitch, strike one. The 0 1 pitch, high, ball two. Or ball one, strike one. Chopped outside corner. One and two to count. The one two pitch, high. Evens the count at two and two. The two two pitch, low and outside and in the dirt. Full count now three and two. The three two pitch swung on and hit. That's in the gap between uh, center and left. McKinney, first varsity action this year. Two at bats, two hits. Trent Blue. Tent Brewbreaker up. Right base. Right fielder, excuse me. Pressed into service after Jake Fleming went out with an injury in warm ups. Last time around, Brewbreaker had a strikeout. Those bunt fouls to the right. Brubaker takes his eyes, steps back in the batter's box. Pitcher looking. McKinney over. He goes running, and uh, Brubaker with a hit is caught by the uh, left fielder. McKinney goes back to first in time safely. Nice catch by the left fielder out there. Brubaker with a fly out. Up to Jacob Johns. He had a multi-base hit last time around. And McKinney steals second. I was trying to mark down something on a piece of paper. So McKinney's in scoring position at second with one out. Oh, and one is the count here. McKinney fouls the baseball up over here to the left. Bulldogs can't get underneath it. Oh, and two the count now to Jake, Jacob Johns. The 0-2 pitch, ball, 1-2 now, 
with one out, one runner in scoring position on McKinney. The one two pitch swung on foul down the right side. Count remains at one and two. With one out here. Pitcher stares down McKinney there at second. Take another lead off here. The pitch outside. Two and two now the count. Foul with the 2-2 two -two pitch. Swung on and hit by Johns. Fouled back up over the, whoa. <laughs> About three feet away from me here. <laughs> two and two, the count. The 2-2 two -two pitch, he hits that chopper. It's retrieved by file. Out at first, McKinney moves on to third. Johns with the ground out, moves McKinney to third base, makes the second out. Up is Josh Macy, who had a strikeout the first time around. The pitch. Low and outside. One and oh. Outside again. Two and oh. Pitcher the catcher does a good job of stopping that, chasing that down. The two oh pitch. Swung on and hit by Macy. Going out in the center field. The center field getting underneath it. It's over his head. That'll be uh, a double, stand-up double for Macy. An RBI as Jace McKinney scores his second run. The Lions score their first run in this inning, making it 7-3. to three. David Johns up the bat. He's had two hits. Scored one run so far. Third time through the batting order. Learned to put my clipboard up over my head. He gets a grounder by second base. That's going to score Macy. An RBI for a third hit and an RBI for David Johns. He starts at shortstop today. Up is John Kelly. Third time around, he's had one hit. Been on base with a walk. Macy steals him, he's safe. John's got two RBIs on a triple. And scored one run. Pickoff attempt, late. One and oh the count. The pitch. Ball. The 
two a pitch. Outside ball three. Two outs here in the top of the third. David Johns on second. Three and no the count. And they walk sing and uh, Johns went for the steal on the walk and put out. So that ends the inning. Lions score two and now lead eight to three over the Bulldogs. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsor. Ottawa County Next in Minneapolis offers hometown vets here with commitment, experience, and quality service. Proud sponsors of area school activities. Tonight's game brought to you by City Pharmacy in Minneapolis. Now delivering to our neighboring communities. Call us to find out when we can come to you. City Pharmacy for your family. Go Lions! The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School Lion Badgers are proud to continue their long support of the broadcast of these Lions games. Join us as we support student activities and the teachers at MJFHS. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. The American Family Care Act keeps Scott Washam and Joel Hasenshank's coverage under one roof. Scott is working throughout Minneapolis while he's courting the Lions. Stop into Dean Dyke Jewelry and experience shopping at the products and handling service from people you know and trust. Dean Dyke Jewelry, your hometown grocery store, supporting your hometown Lions. Welcome back to action in the bottom of the third. The Lions are up 8-3. to three. Eric Joxel continues to pitch. Up to bat for the Bulldogs is third batter in the order, number 11, Jacob Depperschmidt, who had a hit and scored a run first time around. Depperschmidt played center field. Pitch outside ball one. Ball two. The two -oh pitch swung on hit out in the left field. Fair. Depperschmidt with his second hit. A double. Fifth hit surrendered by Yoxel. Up is number 65, Easton Rent, who had a hit and an RBI last time around. No outs here, bottom of the third. Count is one and zero to rent the pitch. Swings on that, hits it deep out into right. Caught. <laughs> Caught by Brubaker, and he th throws it down to. Uh, David Johns, and they put Brubaker out at second. So Rent with the fly out. Jake Depperschmidt put out on a base running out. And all of a sudden, two outs for the Bulldogs here in the bottom of the third. Up is number nine, Devin File. Shortstop. And he's currently pitching for the Bulldogs. There's the ball. One and the count. Ball two. The two will pitch outside. Ball three. The 
Trio pitch inside. Strike one. Makes the count three and one. So we're going to miss strike two. The three two pitch. Swung on a miss. Strike three in the inning. Second strikeout for Yoxel. So no runs for the Bulldogs in that inning. The score remains eight to three in favor of the Lions. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsor. For over 100 years, Roberts and Lions has created everlasting memories for families to share the lives of their loved ones for future generations. Supporting the Lions have always been Roberts and Lions. Eagle Communications, home of ECTV, high-speed internet, 910 KINA, and 99 KG Country, is a proud sponsor of tonight's hometown coverage of Lions Sports. Listen to the Lions Sports on SalinaPost.com. Fields and Bennington, Lions up 19-3 in the top of the fifth. Eric Yoxel up with Rick Thompson on second. Eric's had three hits, has scored one run. He's had a fly out. Fifth time through the order. Luke Snyder pitching for the Bulldogs. The pitch, way outside. Ball one. Pitch. I two no. The two o pitch. Low ball three. Three no here with no outs. One runner on. Top of the fifth. The 3-0 pitch, strike one on the outside corner. Logan Robbins up on deck. Now they have two outs on the board. Way outside, ball four. Yawks are on base with the walk. Robbins up with two outs, two runners on. Thompson in scoring position. High and inside, ball one. Logan's had a hit today, scored a run. Two strikeouts, one fly out. The 1 0 pitch. Way outside, ball two. Nineteen to three is the score here. In the top of the fifth with two outs. In favor of the Lions. Leaf could add a couple more with a great hit here. Top corner strike. Two and one the count. The two one pitch. Strike two. Evens the count at two. The 
two two pitch. Thought about swinging, but held off. Makes it full count now, three and two. The three two pitch. Caught the outside corner, and that will end this half inning. Third strike out of the game for Robbins. The score is 19 to 3 in favor of the Lions. After four and a half, we'll be back for the bottom of the fifth coming up shortly. Minneapolis Junior Senior High School Lion Badgers are proud to continue their long term support of the broadcast of these Lions games. Join us as we support student activities and the teachers at MJFHA. Go Lions! We're with you all. Okay, welcome back to the ball fields in Bennington. As we go to the bottom of the fifth, the Lions leading 19 to 3. This is Dale Leach for Eagle Communications Channel 20. Now it's lineofpost.com. The Bulldogs are getting their third time through the batting order here. Jacob Stanley, their leadoff hitter, coming up. He's had a hit and one ground out so far today. Pitch. Eric Joxel continues to pitch. That ball's inside. Takes a swing at that. Johns gets the at second. Throws him out of first. So Robbins. Second ground out for Jacob Stanley. Up is Dustin Stanley, who has been on base with a walk and had one strikeout so far. The pitch. Inside ball one. So one down here in the bottom of the fifth. High. Inside ball two. Two O pitch. High ball three. Eric has had two strikeouts, one to three walks, one to six hits so far. And low ball four. So he gets his fourth walk there. Stanley on base for the second time today with a walk. Up is Jude Depperschmidt, who's had two hits, but scored a run. Pitch is low. Ball one. The 1 0 pitch. High and inside. Ball two. The 
2 0 pitch. Long up, fouled up with the right side. Two and one the count, I do believe. The pitch, high. Three and one now. The three one pitch. Strike makes the count full at three and two. The three two pitch. High walks him. So two walks in a row, surrendered by Oxel. Depper Schmidt on for the first time today at the walk. Two hits previously. Up is number 55, Easton Rent, who's had a hit and an RBI. One fly out so far. Two men on, two men on here with one out. One in scoring position. Pitch so far outside, it went outside the batter. Thompson did a good job chasing that down. Want to know the count? The one oh pitch swing and fouls it down the left side. One and one the count. The one one pitch. Swung on. Hit. Johns gets it. He's out at first. The runners advance to second and third. So Rend is out on the ground out. Devin File. Shortstop and then the first relief pitcher. Up, bat, who had one hit and one RBI on the day. Got a striker, got a struck out once. One and oh, the count here. The one oh pitch, pops that up. And it gets over Johns. That's going to score two. With that pop up. So the Bulldogs score two here in the bottom of the fifth. That was Stanley and Dustin Stanley and Jude Bet Depperschmidt. Five with the hit. He's out of first. With that six one out. Six three out, excuse me. And that is the game, the final nineteen to five in favor of the Lions. So Eric Yoxel, the winning pitcher, with two strikeouts, surrendered five walks, surrendered seven hits, but went the distance compared to three pitchers for the Bulldogs. Scoring by inning. In the first inning, Minneapolis three, Bennington two. Second inning, Minneapolis three, Bennington one. Third inning, Minneapolis two, Bennington zero. Beginning for the Lions, beginning for the, the beginning for the Lions in the fourth is 
seven runs against zero, and in the fifth, four runs against two to make this final 19 to five score. Scoring runs for the Lions in that game. David Johns one, John Kelly two, Rick Thompson one, Eric Oxel one, Logan Robbins one, Jace McKinney three, Josh Macy three. Scoring for the Bulldogs, Dustin Stanley one, Jacob Depperschmidt two, Brandon Nisbet one, and somewhere I failed to mark down one. I apologize, but the <laughs> final score is 19 to five, Minneapolis. After five innings, we'll be back for game two in about 20 minutes. So hang on to your seat. Dale Leach going to sign off for Eagle Communications, Channel 20, and SalinaPost.com.